flashes, dreaming, having flashes, flashes, dashing, hoping I don't crash it. My crib ain't got served. I got shit to Hey, what's good, y'all? So we're gonna be doing a midsole swap, hybrid swap, on a pair of Air Max 1 uppers with an Air Max 90 sole. This is actually an idea Nike had back in 1992. When they first started releasing the Air Max 1 again, they wanted to improve the materials and durability of the shoes, so they opted for the Air Max 90 sole instead of the original Air Max 1 sole. I do have a few prototype photos that they did manufacture just to give you guys an idea of what they looked like back in the day but of course the midsole is already starting to go. As you can see in the last two photos they try to infuse both the Air Max 1 and Air Max 90 as one unit. So to separate the donor midsole I'm just pouring acetone on top so I can melt the adhesive and I can just pull the uppers apart. <laughs> To effectively remove the midsole paint, we're going to be using midsole magic. You could purchase this at RaylayRestorations.com. I'll provide a link below. You can use my rub code Monalo for a discount. So I'm going to let the midsole magic penetrate through the paint. After a couple of seconds, we're going to lift up the paint by using an exacto knife. So we're just going to repeat this step throughout the whole midsole. So you can see how effective the mental magic is. On the left side of the shoe is bone dry of the paint, and on the right side is the untouched part of the midsole paint. We're still going to be using cotton balls and acetone to remove the midsole paint, but it's more of a last step to remove any debris and any grease from the mental magic that still remains. These were previously worked on so you can see any excess acetone that slipped through the rubber sole. So I'm just going to clean it up with more acetone and cotton balls to just remove it from the bottom sole so it looks more factory. So now that we're done removing the midsole paint, it's time to adjust the height of the midsole by shaving the midsole with a Dremel tool. By doing so, we're allowing the uppers to look more flush, therefore looking a lot more factory. It's crazy to see how people just glue the Air Max 1 uppers onto the Air Max 90 sole without even adjusting the height and it just doesn't look factory. This is going to be the most tedious part of the restoration since it is very time consuming and it is a lot of shaving. So all I'm doing is I'm making sure that I don't miss any gaps and I just keep going back and forth like an argument if I need to. Now it's time to repaint the midsole so all I'm going to do is I'm going to tape up the rubber sole and then I'm going to start painting the sole with Angelus paint. Since the shoes are from 1997, I am going to be using an age white, which is not straight out of the white bottle. I added a little bit of yellow and brown just to give that off-white look, but not too much. So now that the repaint is finished, we still have one issue that still lingers which is still the alignment. As you can see that the uppers is not coming in contact with the rubber sole and the midsole fully and you can see that there's a gap on the toe cap. This just means that I'm going to be clamping down areas with my hand a lot longer than I should with this step but in the end it's going to be worth it. So right now I'm just going to tape up the uppers that need to be glued down. I haven't stripped the factory adhesive yet so that's what I'm about to do. So I'm just removing the factory adhesive and then laying my tape down so it doesn't damage the upper leather. So we're going to be using cotton balls and acetone and also a heat gun to accelerate the process. All 
Our final step is to finally attach the upper leather material onto the midsole. So all I'm doing is I'm cleaning up any debris that's still lingering on the midsole. And then I'm going to apply my Bark Cement Super Stick on uppers and on the midsole. Let it cure for a couple of hours, heat it up, and then clap them together. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you guys aren't subscribed yet, please subscribe. What's up y'all? If you guys enjoyed this video man, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to give me that thumbs up. If you guys want me to restore a shoe for you, my email is down in the description below or just head out, look right there in that uh, bottom right corner, it says Manalo Restoration, so check that out, send me an email. Alright y'all, I hope your day is as beautiful as you are. Alright fellas, that's how you get them. After you send it to a female, make sure to get the number. Alright, late.